Let's get started creating your first workflow in Shaker. First, we're going to hop down to the settings, and then we're going to choose workflows. Under workflows, we're going to create a new workflow. For this example, we're going to create a birthday workflow to wish clients a happy birthday each year. First, we're going to create a time delay until the client's birthday. We're going to do zero days before and then here we're going to choose, you can choose a calendar date, a previous step, but in this case, we're going to choose a context date field, um, which happens to be their birth date, which is stored within Shaker. We're going to save that. Then the next step you're going to want to do is decide how you're going to wish them a happy birthday. You can either send them an automated email from your email template library, or you can create a task reminder for yourself if you would prefer to email uh, a personal note to text them or to, for instance, make a phone call. In this instance, we're going to create an email and we're going to choose our birthday email template. Here you can also choose who you want the email to come from. It can be the assigned agent, which is the default in the system, or a team member. If you sometimes prefer to send things from a team leader, for example, um, you could choose that member and save here. And then you're gonna turn that workflow on and you're ready to go.